lost my best friend to 23 She left her body and hovered above me Sub guys, Indian Sense here. Welcome back to another episode of Naruto X Trash Ninja Voltage. So yeah. So first of all, like fifth anniversary is here, and I am making this video because a lot of uh, people have been asking me like how to complete this panel mission, and I already did that in the stream. And this is like my I, I took my mom's phone to install the game and show you guys. This is like a very fresh account if you see level one and all. So yeah. Because in my account, it's already been done. So that's why I couldn't show you in my account. So basically, I will show you what, how to basically complete this panel mission because it, it is quite confusing on how to do some steps in this one. And also, I will show how ninja bonds basically work, right? So first of all, uh, replay the in-depth ninja balls tutorial, right? So if you click on it and click on challenge, right? It will take you to this screen and what, okay, this is the one. Let's like, click on Naruto. Go to this one and click on bonds now it will show a frog screen and all it will explain how uh, ninja bond works so don't skip it read it because it will explain some things to you and yeah you know all that stuff it will show so you just have to complete this tutorial so this was the mission so now if you go to the panel mission you will see the first two are already uh, basically done because you read the simple bonds tutorial and you uh, saw the uh, depth one right now we have to purchase one proof of violation from attack shop so i go to this one challenge okay this is some basic stuff now here this would be one proof of violation and so just buy this one shinobite one don't have to purchase the bigger pack just buy this once and it is okay yeah okay. now let's go back you see this is also done uh raise naruto uzumaki ninja way level and purchase the ninja card letter in his heart from the shop so challenge this it will take you to shinobi cultivation shop and you have to purchase this one i don't have this uh dumplings but yeah if you have you can purchase this so you, this will be done right so you have to purchase this in this case uh, raise Naruto Uzumaki ninja available. So what you have to do go to shinobi and Naruto Uzumaki go here to bonds Raise level and just click on this. Yes Right and this ninja way level has been done. So now if I go to panel mission see, Now it is completed awaken the ninja bond of ninja card letter letter in his art So what you have to do first you have to purchase it from the exchange shop right that I showed you so if you go to the shop and uh, if you go to the exchange shop this dumpling shop you purchase this card right once you purchase this go to shinobi ninja card ninja bond and you here we, you will see this uh, naruto's card you don't so you need this material and uh, this necklace two necklace and then you can awaken ninja bond for the naruto card not sakura okay <laughs> so get the naruto card and awaken it so once you do that uh you will require these these are available from someone and from roundup uh, achievements you can get that once you do that you will be this will be enabled right i don't have the card in this so i cannot do that again set sasuke uchi as naruto zumaki's shinobi ninja bonds partner okay so again we go to bonds we find sasuke normal sasuke and i click this i change just just have to change it and if i go to panel mission uh this will be done right now proof of trust from jutsu from the shop right proof of trust now i go to again shop and proof of trust will be wait yeah this one right so you have to purchase this it has proof of trust and proof of trust ninjutsu and stuff so you have to purchase this from this uh exchange shop right and once you do you will this will be unlocked so mine i cannot do that because i don't have enough dumplings equip the ninja card letter in his art to uh, naruto so what you have to do 
the card that you purchase from the shop just equip that card just you simply click on it and equip that's it once you do that your panel mission will be completely complete right i i don't have all the stuff so like i don't have uh dumplings and stuff so i cannot show you everything but yeah you get the picture right i did this in my main account so yeah so yeah by doing all the steps that i mentioned you will be able to basically complete the mal mission right just like i did so you will be able to complete all this and get the rewards so yeah, it's very good amount of rewards i think it's close to 1000 if i'm not wrong so 500 plus 3 or 800 and we have 50s this so is 900 950 and yeah i think it's 1000 yeah the uh, 1000 you know what you can easily get if you follow these steps so yeah it's easy and it's i hope this clears things up okay now let's talk about the ninja bonds and ninja level or follow up jutsus right first of all what we need to understand is that not all, all shinobis currently have follow up jutsu so how to check who has follow up jutsu and how to check who has ninja bond jutsu right Bo both are different so by a simple definition follow up jutsu is a jutsu that will happen when ninja bond jutsu ends so let's say if the baron mode rasengan is a ninja bond jutsu right if when this ends the follow up jutsu which you have selected will happen so Let's see what are the follow-up jutsus we have. So for this, we go to the cell section and we basically just remove these filters. So by default, it will look like this, right? So we go to this and remove these checks and click on follow-up jutsu and click on OK. So currently, we have like only these jutsus are currently follow-up jutsus. So if we see, we have some duplicate copies here. So the unique ones would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 yeah so currently we have 14 follow up jutsu 14 follow up jutsu we have follow up jutsu have orange icon on them so if you see here on amaterasu if you see there is a orange icon and if you see to naruto light uh, super tail beast we have orange icon so yeah but the ninja bond by default it will be a gray icon so if you click on a ninja bond jutsu so let's say this one baron mode rasengan So it will be green one. Uh, sorry, gray. But when you have enough material, this materials you will get from uh, roundup shop, achievement, login, mission pass, someone's exchange shops, etc., etc. Right. So when you have enough material, you can awaken this, and the color will change to green. So I have already done this for Baron Mode Naruto. So if you see, the color has been now changed to green. Right. So these are currently all the bond jutsus that we have. These are currently all the fall of jutsus that we have. So if you see here, we have also Kawaki here. Kawaki bond jutsu is this one, this new karma barb, right? Barb, barb. I don't know how to say this. Karma barb, I guess. So yeah, and we also have Naruto lights. Uh, this limit break is also a bond jutsu, but his follow up jutsu is the old four star, right? So you get the picture. Now what we do? We go to Shinobi screen, and let's say we go to Baron mode Naruto, and we go to bond section here, right? now we have options like raise level you can raise the level of the ninja way and that will also increase the bond level of your uh, jutsu which you have selected in the follow up right so you can check by levels here so by this raise level you can only go up to 10 level for after 10 it's like up to level 15 if if i'm not wrong so if i go here yeah, it's up to level 15 so if you want to reach level 15 then you will have to go to link board path 4 and here you will see raise 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the other five you can raise by link board path 4 which is very wrong because this material this purple aura thing is very uh, you can only get it from shop and some other places but anyways let's go back to our baron mode naruto yeah so now here we go to bond section and let's click on this plus icon now you see a lot of shinobi all almost all of them are present here now we will say that some of you will might think why not i can select ikamaru sasori or itachi here yeah you can select no issues but they won't have a follow up jutsu if you see here it will say no follow up jutsu right because the units with follow up jutsu will have a orange icon on them and they have basically equipped that follow up jutsu so if i go to kakashi here 
so this one is right this one is equipped on my kakashi this orange jutsu that's why it's showing kakashi now if you show if you check uh kawaki here right kawaki why not kawaki is showing the orange one orange icon here because he has not equipped the fall of jutsu as i mentioned earlier the fall of jutsu is different from the bond jutsu this is the bond jutsu the green one the fall of jutsu of kawaki would be if i go to back to the ninja card screen here cell and this one so this one is actually the fall of jutsu of kawaki so currently if i am not equipped on kawaki and if i go to baron mode naruto click on bond click on plus click on kawaki and click on change right so i will not i will see a bond level 4 because i have increased my uh, ninja way level so as you increase your ninja way level your bond level also increases but this is does not showing the follow up jutsu so what what uh, if i want to show the follow up jutsu i go to kawaki here oh, so i will have to compromise one of his jutsu let's say i remove this one and equip the follow up jutsu right now when i go back to baron mode naruto you will see now it is showing right now if i click on this filter only show shinobi with follow up jutsu equipped so kawaki is also part of it now because he has now the fall of jutsu on him actually right but this jutsu is not good for me so what i will do i will remove this from kawaki because i i don't think kawaki this jutsu is good for kawaki and this one is better the old limit break right and i will go to baron mode again and i will see kawaki has removed the fall of jutsu so what i will do i don't want kawaki as my bond shinobi so i will click on the, uh, remove so this will remove him and i will just click on this uh, only show fall of shinobi so out of this which one do you prefer so i will go with shadow sasuke sharingan jutsu it is it is not bad it is very good so if i change it now my bond level is showing 3 why it was showing 4 for kawaki because i already made a bond with kawaki and baron mon naruto before so if i go to here you will see there is a bond level 4 on baron mon naruto right which i already made before so that's why it was showing 4 for kawaki because kawaki and baron mon share a bond right they already share a level 4 bond so if i were to go to baron mon naruto and change my shinobi to kawaki i will see a level 4 bond right that's why so it's basically a mapping between the bond between two shinobis so it it is changeable but since shadow sasuke i don't have a go good bond with so it's showing three level right <laughs> so that's how it is but anyways i don't want to use shadow uh, kawaki as my bond shinobi so if i were to increase my ninja way level here this bond shinobi bond level will also increase and as the bond level increases your effects also increase so if you see up till bond level 1 and 2 the awake activation chance is only 20 and 50% so this mean that this, there is no guarantee that this follow up jutsu will actually work or not right in order to have a guarantee you should at least have level 3 bond which is 100% right so that's why make sure to at least have level 3 bond with the shinobi otherwise the follow up jutsu will not always happen so it might happen sometime it might not happen depending on the percentage 20 or 50 right So always make sure to have at least level three bond in order to see the fall of jutsu in action. Now, what are the effects that I get with bond level three? It's ten percent increased damage, right? And I get hundred percent activation chance plus twenty percent extra power. Now at bond level four, if I see, it says hidden ability: normal lunge annihilation releases many fluid and impact races plus five percent for ten seconds. So this is some hidden ability that increases with every bond level. bond level also can go to level 15 so ninja way level 3 will also increase the bond level to level 3 so it's it's like that so our ninja way level 4 will increase to level 4 so yeah it's how the picture is right so i think this is pretty much clear i believe and we also have some additional effects which we get from ninja way level 5 which is user ignore status effect immunity for 6 second after switching places now you might also question that why the ninja level is 5 and this is 3 because i actually switched my bond to something else so make sure to keep the bond equipped on your shinobi which you want to increase the bond level with right but i heard to change to kawaki it will change to 4 right because i already made a bond with kawaki before with kawaki in the section right so now you will see i have made a bond with shadow sasuke and in case of kawaki i will made a bond with 
Baron Mode Naruto, which is level 4 ball already. So if I go to hidden ability here, so he doesn't have a hidden ability. Hmm. Okay, that's bad. He has even hidden ability at level 9. Okay, so yeah, it's also different for a various shinobi. So yeah, you have to also keep that in mind. Now I will show this action is this in actual how it works, right? After the update, the game has been a little slow. So if I activate this one, you now see Baron Mode comes and does his job, right? Fall of Jutsu. You, you also see a fall of Jutsu coming from the left side. So let's say if I go to uh, I have Kawaki here, right? This is the limit break of Kawaki. Let's see now what he will do. See now, my this Kawaki in my defense used his uh, fall of Jutsu along with like uh, his bond Jutsu with the fall of right. So if I were to let's say remove uh, remove these two, so he will only use the fall of Jutsu. Okay, let's see what happens. So this works in both offense and defense, right? So it is very like very useful to use and like yeah my cp is almost gone here yeah you see how it works now i will show you how it works in attack also so now i'm i want to test whether uh like basically the follow up jutsu effect also apply like if the follow up jutsu like i have uh, sasuke is follow up jutsu for baron mode naruto so sasuke is sharing and actually seals the enemy right so let's see whether this works in defense and attack or not so if i go in baron mode will use the rasengan and then i got the seal so yeah it works actually right and now let's see whether it works in attack mission or not let him, let him kill me Oh, we are both using the same jutsu wow <laughs> okay okay we are clear that in defense the follow jutsu will actually apply the effect now i want to see whether in attack mission it, it works or not right so i go in and basically yeah it's also working attack and defense both so this is actually good right so you can have a combination of this uh, baron mode is combination of confusion as well as seal now so this is like really useful and let's see whether now the the sasuke one has trap clear also right let's see whether that also applies or not i don't know whether this applied or not let's see whether now it applies no the trap clear is not happening it's not actually clearing it's not doing the trap clear thing i mean there are a lot of traps here but it's not working for some reason okay now let's see what what we missed so we missed this we also had this here so yeah i mean yeah so it, it's affecting the seal and other stuff but it's not actually doing the trap clear thing which it should have it should do but why not? i don't know why it's not doing but yeah so i think you actually like if you have any confusion you can let me know in the comments like but i think this is pretty much clear right so yeah so let's now discuss little bit about path 4 as well so first of all you will need to unlock path 3 then you will only able to unlock path 4 the first is the 25000 hp then second one is you will get the proof of trust in jutsu 100 times this uh, blue necklace thing then you go to the third one the third one it wants you chakra this is called proof of faith the book thing and the uh, below purple thing is called proof of utility utility this is six star proof of utility now where you can get this proof, proof of faith and utility so first we go to let's say village from panel mission you see here sheet one it gives proof of faith here at the bottom and here also it gives proof of faith now you can also get the proof of faith from mission and fifth anniversary searching mission proof of faith and you can also get it from special shop proof of faith right but the proof of violation 
six star, which is this one, right? Two for body shape. This is for purple shinobis. So if you go and check this, you can get from 200 shinobis. This is very expensive, right? And you cannot get this six star proof of volition from anywhere else. I think you can get it from exchange shop, uh, but you will need lot of exchange medals in order to basically get this, which is like I don't know, makes no sense, right? Other other materials you can also get from missions and stuff, but yeah. So my point being, this path four is ridiculously expensive. So I would not recommend anyone who is basically F2P or saving Shinobi to use your resources on path four. Just be happy with whatever you can unlock, like maybe part 3 and a little bit of this, that's all. <laughs> Don't waste your stuff because if you see here, it requires 105 keys and this one, these two, so 105, 105. This one requires 0 keys. So currently these are very expensive, but maybe in future the game will give it us for some easily available missions and stuff, right? But currently don't waste your resources on this one. Also, you can perfectly be happy with Ninja Way level 10, which you can increase from here instead of raising more 5 from the path 4. So this one is cheaper as compared to path 4. So Ninja Way level 10, you can increase from here if you want more like Ninja Way level 15 you want, then you will have to go with the path for unlock everything, all of this, 5. Which makes no sense, I know, but uh, nothing we can do. So yeah, path 4 I think was unnecessary. It was not at all necessary. You could, uh, they could, Bandai could have easily skipped path 4 and, and instead of making this lot of resource consuming path, they should have either removed it or like given some, at least some discount on this, right? Is very expensive currently but maybe in future it will get uh cheaper or easily available i don't know just like the keys now i now i have like how many keys like 925 keys i am lacking chakra and row but the keys i have a lot <laughs> so anyways so yeah i guess that uh, finishes the explanation for ninja way and ninja bond panel mission and path four right so i hope you understood what's going on and what's with the update and if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment. Maybe I will, if I know the answer, I will reply. If I don't, then I will find the answer and reply. Okay. <laughs> and if you guys already know the answer, then comment and help out others. Right. Okay. So that was it from my side. Hope you guys enjoy this video and hope this makes sense. I know it is a lot of consume. So yeah, but just watch it maybe one or two times. <laughs> then you will get to know what's happening. Right. Okay. So now, nah, yeah, I will see you next time. Sayonara. Oh, Tom. 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 Oh